<clears throat> hey ladies, how are you? It's Hagit. Oh my gosh. No, no, this isn't the end of the video. This is just the beginning. I thought of something. Let's play a game. Let's de let's deconstruct the wrap. So this was my fi final result. My final wrap. My final look. I know it's big and it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I feel like like a queen, you know, like the queens that we are. This is the wrap. Um, just totally in love with it. I was just messing around and doing this, that, and the other, and then boom, you know, I got this wrap. And I love wraps. I love head wrapping. I love scarves. So anyway, let me show you what I did. And then we're going to take it off slowly and then see if you guys can put it back on at home. So here we go. I'm going to turn around. This is what it should look like this is what it's gonna look like this is what it looks like here you go turn around and this is the side and this is it okay so this is what I did oh I took off my earrings I was gonna take off my earrings too but forget about it okay so I did it's like a funky flower okay so it's a funky flower let's deconstruct this was the very last thing i did so i have a pin here see if you see a pin but that's not the this is the last thing i did right here okay here we go rewind i put a bobby pin i put a bobby pin here now we're gonna take it off so put a bobby pin there and then I put the little red pin. Red because it's the color I had available. This is the pin. Okay. Ta da! I had another one there, which I forgot. Another pin. Okay. This is it. Is that a twist? It's at a twist. So, took it off. It's at a twist let it go there has to be another end to this so it was right under here go like this take it out here you go undo it here here you go what is it it's just a scarf a rectangle scarf that I actually placed and used as if it was a sash, a bigger sash. Took it and placed it at the very tippity top of my crown. Cause this is just so beautiful here, all the folds. So I just placed it at the tippity top, did this, and then actually went underneath and then, you know, just gave it a twist and a twist. Da, 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 da. You followed me through that. Okay? That's what I did. So, scarf number one. And it's very thin. But it's a lot of it. Okay? Scarf number one. Then, that's what I did. Then I took this here, my rope. Why? Because this was going to be my round. But I wanted something more. My rope, and I just twisted it around. And I started it from the end and finished it like this. Because I wanted to use as much of it as possible. Now, what did I do with it? I have here a trimming, and then I have solid color here, and then I have this beautiful lighter color which is the the other half of the scarf one side is dark the other side is light so i wanted to outline this little nugget that little little line that little strip there so that's why i went from here I tucked it in went from here tucked it in did it like that went around did it like this went up 
went around like this doo -doo -doo, and I did it and then once it was on I moved it and I put it at the angle that I wanted which if you remember was more like like that okay so then the next thing I did was my scarf here's one corner which is my back side on this side this is beautiful just like that and then this is the other one right here and I did like that okay so basically what I did when I put the wrap on I chose the prettier color I placed it once I placed it you know really quick I mean a lot of times as you fold it here you're putting folds on there so then you place it and you just you know if here is too short which is this was what was what was happening you kind of fold it here and you make it longer and then you put it like that and then you place it however you want okay the other side will come towards the back not towards the front towards the back area and in okay we're deconstructing it so I hope I'm just trying this out because I think it's cool okay then I'm gonna open this up it's opened up here it goes see the sides are pretty much even but what I did was I started it I started my wrap at an angle so that's why it didn't you know it had that angle effect okay now I'm gonna show you how I picked my edging okay this scarf has this really pretty trimming so what I did was I folded it like this you know like you fold your shirt or something I don't know tablecloth and then I took that part I put it over because it's the part I want to show and then I tied it around I tied it here and then I did what I did okay so there you go and that is what I use was a rectangle pashmina beautiful scarf heavy heavy scarf a lot of pashminas beautiful pashminas like this are very heavy okay so keep that in mind and then what I did was I used my base color which is this beautiful light pashmina it's like a, a silver gray like a gray here it goes and I just did that standard standard I got it here like this opened it up some because I was already working on the layer that I wanted to create so as you tie it you open it up you open up your scarf and you start placing it towards this is your bun start placing it towards here okay like not a not down the curve but like almost tippy tip toeing around the curve you know so like that and then you open it place it around you tuck you get the other one you place it around you want to start creating like this okay so when you tie your scarf which is your base scarf and it's the first one what you're gonna do is you're gonna measure and make sure that it's even for when wherever you want to start wrapping whether it's here or further back or like on a side whatever make sure it's where it's at and then it's even right here like it folds to the back so that when you tie it it doesn't give you a hard time okay so this was my third scarf and hold on because I am deconstructing it's not gonna fall I didn't think it was gonna fall but this is it and this is how I started the only thing that this went up a little bit but that is not a big deal okay so um, this is what I have on and it's a it, it's a I call it a magic cap it's a cap that I've been wearing during the summer now I have this really thick pashmina right this cap is just like this 
It doesn't have anything. It doesn't have anything. It's just a cap. It's good to use also with wigs. It's good to use, or at least I use it with little hats like this. It has a Velcro here. It's not going to go anywhere. Now, why this? What is it? I have a, my hair in a pony. It's about yay long. I have it in a loop, not in a bun, but in a loop. And then I took a loofah. Okay, I opened up my loofah and I put my pony in here. Okay, and then I put this on top. And look, look at the volume I have. See? Now, this is not to replace all your other poofs or your other poof. This is just one that you should use also in half for the thick pashminas. Because if not, it's just, it. I like height. It's just going to make it even higher and heavier, okay? And also for the summer, I thought it was great for the summer. Um, they come in black and white, you know. And um, so this is what I have underneath. And Zell, and that was how I started. Actually, I started with, hi ladies, how are you? It's Hagid and I hope you're doing good. Let's do a wrap deconstruction of this amazing.